Welcome to another Horse Owner's Minute. I'm Jason Turner, your NMSU Extension Horse Specialist. This video series is an introduction to evaluating stock type confirmation, which you may find helpful for instructing youth in horse judging activities. Let us begin by reviewing the purpose of the stock type confirmation class. For today's lesson, we focus on AQHA, or American Quarter Horse Association type. The AQHA rulebook states the purpose of the class is to preserve AQHA type by selecting individuals in the order of their resemblance to the breed ideal and that are the most positive combination of balance, structural correctness, and movement with appropriate breed and sex characteristics and adequate muscling. When evaluating balance, the shoulder is the most important area to consider. This is because the shoulder angle not only determines the length of the horse's stride, but it also affects the length of the horse's back. The slope of the shoulder represented by the yellow line is measured from the point of the shoulder to the midpoint of the withers, and the ideal slope is 45 degrees. If we move the point of the withers further forward, then we also increase the length of the back shown in the top red line. Ideally, we're looking for a short strong back with the horse being level from the point of the withers to the point of the croup, which is shown in the green line. It is preferable for the horse to have a shorter top line in relation to a longer underline. Next, we evaluate the horse's length of hip, shown here in the red line that goes from the point of the hip to the point of the buttock. Often, a horse is referred to as dividing into thirds. Simply put, this means that the length of the horse's shoulder is approximately equal to the length of back and the length of hip which are shown here in the three red lines that are of equal length. As we can see from this photo of the Palomino Stallion, this horse is relatively proportional and well balanced in this respect. It is also desirable for the horse to be level over the top line from the point of the withers to the point of the croup. As we can see from the green line shown here, this stallion is slightly higher at the point of the croup as compared to the point of the withers and this is undesirable. The last part of balance that we evaluate is the depth of heart or the purple line in relation to the length of leg or the black line shown here. Please note that the purple line and the black line are of equal length. While it's preferable that the depth of heart equals the length of leg, we can see that this stallion is a little longer legged in relation to the depth of heart. As we close our evaluation of balance, we want to determine how well the horse's body parts blend together, meaning they are proportional from front to rear. Overall, this horse is relatively well balanced, although we would like to see him more nearly level over the top line. That's it for today. Please join us for part two in this video series where we cover structural correctness.